Hi y'all, it's Coach Becky here from A Better You with Coach Becky. And some of you will be traveling for the holiday, but not just for the holiday, I'm gonna give you some traveling tips. As far as packing, um, easy things to pack for trips or even packing your lunch on regular, regular days, no special occasion, no holiday. Um, I don't go and purchase these things just because we're going on a road trip. This is just stuff that I have in my fridge, in my pantry, normal life, and yeah, grab and go. So, starting with the number one important thing, stay hydrated for me. I um, don't like to spend money on drinks when I'm out and about, so packing drinks is very important. This is a discontinued bag from 31, but it's a wine cooler bag. It has four compartments. See if you can see that with the sliding. Anyway, I love this bag because I am all about the 30 ounce cups. And even if I'm just carrying two cups, I'll carry this for easy transportation. Just grab and go. Now, what do I put in these 30 ounce cups? My sippers, boosted oolong tea, good girl moonshine, water, a big boy smoothie, or a dreamy shake from Brianna Thomas. Um, usually in the morning, because it's a busy morning, I just make a smoothie for my breakfast, and then I make a second one to take along with us. And these cups, if you have a good Arctic or Yeti, you can make your smoothie in the morning and three o'clock in the afternoon and drink it. It might be a little bit thinner, but it's not separated. To me, it's still amazing. So what I do is here at home, when I prep my sippers, this is tea, um, it's more concentrated. I put it in the glass jar in the fridge. Um, but when I leave for a trip, I put them in plastic bottles. These are recycled buy bottles. Just pull the labels off and hold on to these. And also um, these bottles, sometimes I put lemon juice in them, sometimes apple cider vinegar. You can buy the little bottles of apple cider vinegar at Walmart to take with you, especially if you're flying and you need to have a sealed ACV. Um, if it's just for the day, I just put apple cider vinegar in a small bottle like this and I'll take a cup of ice my LaCroix. I take a pack of LaCroix with me. Um, if it's just for the day, I just put one LaCroix in there, pour it over ice, add my ACV, and some Stevia. This is my travel Stevia. It's just a small mini Tupperware container with a little donk spoon in there that I broke the handle to shorten it to make it fit. Obviously, you don't want to fly in an airplane probably with an opened white powder container. Um, something else for drinks, when I um, take my boosted oolong, I put the lemon juice in the oolong tea and the sweetener and the salt in the bottle, but I wait to add my baobab, and this is a baby formula container. Uh, these are great to transport uh, THM powders in. I have one that has the three compartments that I put collagen, chocolate protein powder, and super sweet in it also. So, um, gotta take your baobab with you, especially if you're gonna be in a crowd and in a house of germs. You don't wanna get sick while you're gone. So, other drinks. I take my hydrates. I keep some of these in my purse, some of these in the car and some of these in my lunch bag. I love the lemon and the blue skies colada are my favorite. Have plenty of sweetener. This is my stash for here at home. I keep some in my wallet. This is from Costco. Currently, Trim Healthy Mama is out of the super sweet packets. That's my favorite choice. But um, put some in your wallet, put some in your purse, put some in the glove box of your car. Put them in your lunch bag. 
So if you're in the drive-thru and you're ordering the coffee, you can put your own sweetener in it if they don't have on-plan sweetener. And if you're ordering unsweetened iced tea, um, different things you can do for your unsweetened iced tea. You can add a lemon hydrate. You can add baobab to your unsweetened iced tea or add a sweetener packet. Another option, if you don't have, can't afford the hydrates, the True Lime packets. These are a personal choice item. I wouldn't recommend drinking multiple in a day because they do have the one gram of sugar, but um, it's also a good option to take along for your kids. If your kids are like my kids that are always guzzling my drinks, this is definitely a better choice. Which I've got a kid here right now looking for my drink. There you go, buddy. Um, if I am able to travel with a smaller bottle of vinegar, you're done. If I'm able to travel with a smaller bottle of vinegar, I do take that along if I have room and be insulated. Okay, sweetheart, mommy's gonna do a video right now, okay? Now, moving on to things that I pack and what I pack it in. Um, a Pyrex insulator. It's for a 9 by 13 pan. Works as a really good lunchbox. This is my lunchbox when we travel. I also take an insulated bag for everybody else's snacks and stuff. But um, this can sit in my lap easily. And if you have a Pampered Chef vegetable egg tray, has a freezer insert. That's what I use for my ice pack. Okay, so now, what do I pack? Another traveling tip, keep a couple um, salad containers from your favorite fast food or carry out. This is a Chick-fil-A salad container that I reuse. I have multiple that um, I'll pack my salad in there and it fits easily in this bag. So yeah, I usually pack salad. So, my lettuce is washed, ready to go. And this is even for you working moms, those that are out and about every day, not just for trips. Um, if you have your, wa your lettuce washed in advance, it's gonna save you a lot of time and keep you from procrastinating to make a salad. So I just put the lettuce directly in the bowl and I use this awesome um, scissors cutting tool, cut my lettuce right in the bowl because I don't like brown wilted lettuce. So I cut it right before I make it. Next we need some protein on that salad, two slices of bacon. Normally I would do two hard boiled eggs and really that is enough flavor right there for me on a salad. Um, I also carry one of these for salad dressing, my MCT oil vinaigrette. Now, if I am leaving for a few days, I just go ahead and take the whole bottle with me and the small container. That way I have a little one in my bag next to my salad. But if you like more choices on your salads, these little bags of cheese whisks add a nice crunch and taste to your salad. You don't want egg as your protein. Grilled chicken strips from Costco. Yummy. And tuna pouch. And this, no draining needed. So just rip it open and dump it on your salad. Other sources of protein in the car? Chomps meat sticks. And actually, these three items I keep in the glove box of my car. This is emergency protein. And we'll talk about a few other emergency proteins that I can keep in the car that are shelf stable. These beef sticks are not shelf stable. These are grass fed beef sticks from Costco. And one very large beef stick here. There's only six grams of fat in this grass fed beef stick. That's also a good source of protein. Okay, so this would be an S salad because of the MCT oil vinaigrette, the bacon, and the egg. Also, the cheese would be another source of fat. 
So if you want to do, maybe you're not into salads. Maybe you're the one driving. So you can make a wrap. These low carb wraps I get at Kroger or Walmart. This can be used for S or FP. Or you can get a sprouted wrap. This one is from Aldi. This would be an E. So for the E, you would just want to use a cheese wedge, light laughing cow cheese wedge. These are Happy Farms from Aldi. They have different flavors. And then you could eat, use um, some deli lunch meat. The low carb wrap, you could use regular cheese slices. We like the cracker cut Gouda. This is also a good, easy to transport. I'll take this along in the car for the kids to snack on. Another snack, the little mini peppers. This is the pickle juice um, salad dressing. You can do ranch too. These little cups that I use for my ice cream, they're great for traveling. And they're plastic. You can reuse them. Anyway, just dump in there. Another option for a meal. We usually stop and eat once, but if it's an all day trip, we don't stop three times to eat. Um, the Wasa crackers are another great option. I use the Laughing Cow Cheese Wedges. Four Wasa crackers for an E, two for fuel pull. And I add pickle slices. And I keep a couple um, plastic knives in the bag or in the car to spread those cheese wedges. Do you want to say hi? So um, pickle juice, pickle juice, pickle slices, cheese wedges, and usually I would use deli turkey breast. But if you just do the pickles and the cheese wedge, and I like to take a little shaker of everything but the bagel seasoning, um, that is fine for a snack too, and then just add a beef stick as your protein. Yogurt is another easy item to pack. So the triple zero yogurt, I myself don't care for that one. Um, I don't like the chalky texture and this one from Kroger, blended nonfat yogurt, um, no sugar added. That's the one you want, has a different taste and texture. So that's a good snack. Um, another option for snacks, more cheese, the Baby Bells, string cheese, if you want a fuel pull. I also have the chomps in Turkey, but that makes a good um, fuel pull snack is a light string cheese and one meat stick. Gouda snacking cheese, kids love those. Other things, the Trim Healthy Mama Bars. These are kind of hard to eat um, when they're cold. So I've seen some people stick them in the vents of their car to soften them up. Here at home, I do put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds to soften it. Um, you can get packets of peanuts, almonds. These I keep in the glove box of my car too for emergency snack. It's not my go-to snack, it's my emergency snack. Um, oh, this little container of mineral salt, that goes back with the, um, I take it along for if I need mineral salt and also to add to my sippers. This is the small container that I keep in my drink cabinet for when I need just a pinch. Chocolate, can't forget chocolate. Dark chocolate, this is from Aldi, or some lilies. And then another um, easy snack in the car is fruit, apples, clementines. Um, I myself don't recommend taking bananas or grapes. Um, just to eat a half a banana is kind of hard to do. And also, if you have a bag of grapes, it's hard to keep it to one cup when you're munching in the car. Or if you're gonna do grapes, um, portion them in one cup before you go. Um, other good ice packs to have are these Nordic ice packs. I hope you found these tips and ideas helpful. And remember, it's not just for traveling. It can be for your daily lunch, grab and go. Um, these are items, normal grocery staple items that I keep in my refrigerator um, at all times, not just for traveling. 
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips, recipes from Coach Becky.